Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And tonight I am talking about how PCOS affects your weight loss or your weight gain in most women who experience PCOS. They're like, <laughs> what weight loss? What do you mean? No, I have PCOS. All I've been doing is the gaining of the weight, not the losing of the weight. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about some specifics hormonally why this is happening. A lot of times women with PCOS are told, if you just lose the weight, you're gonna feel better. If you just lose the weight, it will help your cysts. PCOS, right, it stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Um, so you're, you have cysts on your ovaries. And for some women, they can be horrific. I had PCOS after I had my third kid. Didn't have it before, but after and it was horrific, I would have cysts that would burst and would put me on the floor because of the pain. Yeah. So that was super fun. Um, but that's what led me down the path that I'm on now to being, uh, you know, educating women on nutrition and hormones and the cycle and all the things. <sighs> Blessing in disguise, silver lining, silver lining there. Okay. Uh, but for women with PCOS, there's a lot of things going on hormonally that really impact your ability to actually lose weight. They completely hinder and block you from losing weight. This is not just as simple as get to the gym, eat a little healthier, you'll be fine. No, there's way more involved in that. And if you're not addressing, these are the top three hormonal issues you need to address in order to really, really help your system. Now this is besides dealing with the estrogen and progesterone, right? This is besides helping your hormones balance out. Majority of women with PCOS also have an estrogen dominance issue, which leads to that. So I do Dutch testing, right? I send up for Dutch testing and we go over this. So for women that are in the 12 week challenge or on the wait list for the 12 week challenge, if you're not on the wait list for the 12 week challenge, here's the wait list. Um, but the 12 week challenge is a nutrition guide that actually matches with your hormones and cycle, helps you not only regulate PCOS, but helps get rid of it. This is how I got rid of my cysts and they haven't returned. And my youngest is now nine, she's almost 10. So it's been, and I had them for a year and a half. Yes. Um, so this is the test that I, that I send out for. It gets sent right to your house. Um, you take it, you send it into the lab, we go over the results. It tells you exactly what your estrogen, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone metabolites are, your cortisol levels throughout the day, really, really important. Not just the one-time measurement, it goes throughout the day. That's really essential and I'll, explain more why when we go over your Dutch test results. But if you're wondering, oh my gosh, well, isn't this like an estrogen thing? Yes, and, right? It's not just, that's the fun thing about PCOS. It's not just about your estrogen. There's these other fun things involved that also really impact your weight. Now, the other day I talked about how estrogen gets absorbed into your fat cells, and then your fat cells make more estrogen, and then more gets absorbed, and that's how your fat cells grow bigger and bigger, and you get more fat tissue overall. Yay! So imagine that going on in the background, right? From the other video I did. I didn't want to repeat that info right now. I wanted to really focus on the other hormone issues here associated with PCOS and specifically for weight loss. And you'll see why when I go through this. So for the 12 week challenge and the link that I put there, if you are not on the wait list, get on the wait list. We are regis opening registration next week for that. I only take so many women into this 12 week challenge because there's only so many women I can work with very closely. I make sure that we put you on the exact right protocol for you to get you the fastest, most efficient, lasting results. A lot of women with PCOS, you have to constantly kind of monitor this. This is not something that goes away and stays away. This is something you're always gonna have to keep tabs on to make sure it doesn't flare up because life events, other hormone things, extra stressors in your life can want to bring this back around for you. Yep. So, what about that weight loss though? You mentioned that, right? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Why is it so hard for women with PCOS to lose weight? Because again, everybody's thinking, well, if you lose weight, all these other things get better. Well, sure, but this is why your system won't let that happen. Having the estrogen and progesterone issues that women have with PCOS and the negative effects on the system, it also causes insulin resistance, which is just a fancy way of saying that your blood sugar levels aren't regulated. You're going to get cravings and you're going to get really fatigued. That doesn't help anybody, <laughs> right? And a lot of times your system will crave carbs. You're, you're running out of energy. Your brain runs off of carbs. It runs off of sugars. 
So that's what, when you're running low on that and your blood sugars go up and down, you might feel like amazing and then later feel <gasps> like a robot zombie. What? What? And then your system to keep your brain alive will want to eat all the carbs. Normal for a brain reaction, right? But it's going to give you those cravings and fatigue that you have to constantly get over. That makes it, it's not, so it's not just willpower at this point. In terms of sticking to a diet plan, it's not about willpower. This is literally your system thinking that it's starving and you need to feed it. So really important that you're following um, the right protein pacing protocol for your system and for PCOS to help balance this out as quickly as possible. This will help get rid of your cravings. It helps you get a ton more energy um, and changes a lot overall. Second piece here is your cortisol oftentimes is increased or spiking at the wrong time of the day for PCOS. Well, why is that a big deal? Oh, because again, remember I just talked about that your fat cells absorb estrogen? They also absorb cortisol. Fat cells sometimes love cortisol so much, they're like a sponge soaking up that, that cortisol, which means that you can actually have a ton of cortisol held in those fat cells and your body still tries to make and produce more. And it's like, oh my God, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. But those fat cells are like Pac-Man. I got it. And then you're exhausted and the fat cells are larger. Again, having more adipose tissue overall. Uh, yep, that also leads to that inflammation that we all love in the body too. That's a lot for your system to deal with. So for a lot of women with PCOS, you're feeling like, oh, I feel just like inflamed, like head to toe. Yes, I have weight on the belly, which I'll talk about in just a minute. But I feel also just like inflamed and puffy and sometimes my joints are even achy or my body's react like, oh, what is happening? Oh, I want to get to the gym and work out, but I, I get so achy and tired from it. Yeah. Yep. That's the inflammation from the reaction of cortisol in your system. It's harsh and it's hard to get over and it's a lot. So yeah. So again, it's not just like suck it up, push through it type of thing. No. Your, your body will physically want to stop you from doing that because it's so hard to recover from that. So there's different measures and different things you need to do. Um, address your movement differently. Make sure you're getting the right supplementation in to support the decrease of inflammation and to flush out that cortisol. You have to go through a detox to flush that out of your system to get it at the right levels. Testosterone increase. Now, gals with PCOS, we all know that this causes fun testosterone increases. For women, it causes facial hair, body hair, but thinning hair, right? That's not fair, <laughs> right? It doesn't do that in the male body. No, it doesn't. It does it in the female body, right? Some women have hair, like a mustache, right? And the other thing it does, and in terms of the weight loss piece, so if you're wondering if this is you, if you're wondering like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is me, and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. I, like in high school, I started to get a little bit of a mustache, and then when my my hormone problems really got bad in college, it got thicker or something, and then I got electrolysis, or yeah, very normal for women, right? Oh, but hmm, at the same time, it also triggers belly fat gain, specifically weight right in that midsection. That increase in cortisol will trigger belly fat. That is, that is special to the PCOS. Yep, mm-hmm, yeah. So again, it is not just about going to the gym more or eating cleaner or less, please do not eat less calories. Less calories will actually cause this to flare up and go in the wrong direction completely, completely. Yeah. And it'll be harder for your system to get healthier. So for PCOS and weight loss, it's really essential that you're following the right protocol for your body. You're helping balance the insulin you're getting your cortisol levels down and you're really trying to get those testosterone levels down to help the specific weight loss. Yes, balance hormones. Yes, do all that stuff. Absolutely, absolutely, right? Those are gonna, that's gonna be super, super helpful. But if you're not addressing these things too, the weight will not come off either. So these are all things we go over in the 12 week challenge. So if you're not on the wait list, get on the wait list right now for it because we are honestly um, filling up for it. And if this is something you are ready to get started on, this is the time to do it right now. Yep. Um, other resources I have for you. My book, The Female Fat Solution is on Amazon. This is all about nutrition and matching hormones and cycle. I do talk a little bit about protein pacing and some of the other things in here. Um, so this is a great resource as well. 
My podcast, The Female Health Solution, is on All Places Podcast, and I do talk a lot about different health conditions, as well as answer questions, as well as talk about some other mindset things. And then I also have a YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. Um, my YouTube channel uh, is amazing for a great resource as well. So if you subscribe to that, you stay updated on all the videos I have coming out on health, nutrition, etc. And you can also find info on Dutch testing on my website, which is drbethwesty.com. www.drbethwesty.com. That's all the internet things go. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys today. If you have questions or need help, please do not hesitate to reach out. I am here as a resource for you. But I'm super, super excited. We've got a lot of really fun stuff coming up next week. So stay tuned for some fun, amazing things. And again, the waitlist is in that comments. Do not miss out on it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I will see you later.